Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to make coins from the Theme Diamond promo. Now, I'm recording this video at, what time is it? 3.09 p.m. Eastern time currently. So I think this video is going up around 6 p.m. The market could definitely change over the course of the next couple hours, so just keep that in mind. But most of these tips, you can basically use whenever you guys want. And hopefully, this will help you out. And of course, if it does, smack the like button down below. And of course, hit that sub button if you guys enjoy. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, there's a couple different things you guys need to do with the Theme Diamond promo. Number one thing I recommend you do, and I think that everybody should be doing this, is very simply and very easily, a little sneak peek there or something. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit. But very simply, very easily, you need to go ahead, go over to challenges, and complete the challenges. They're super easy, and they definitely give you some pretty good stuff. As you guys can see, you get NAT Golds, three times NAT Gold, and NAT Corley, 84 plus overall, a gold, a gold. And the challenges don't seem to be that hard. I think they are, you know, it's just like moment solos and stuff. So play them on five stars if you can, and get them done as fast as you possibly can. But I have actually seen people pull out of even the NAT Gold Packs. I've seen them pull elites. I've seen people pull like Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald over on Twitter. So I know for a fact out of the NAT Gold, you can pull an elite player. So don't be shocked in pulling an elite out of those. And it's definitely worth doing it to get those players because not only can A, it help you with your team, obviously, but it can help you complete some of these sets. Which right now, there are some sets you do not want to go near. And I'll tell you guys this, my personal recommendation... I don't think it's worth it to get Kurt Warner, and I'll tell you guys exactly why. If we go ahead and take a look at the market right now, this is going to play a big part in going for some of these cards and my tips that I have for you guys. With the theme diamonds, if we take a look here, the cheapest theme diamond is Patrick, and this man is going for 88,000 coins. Now, when I show you guys something, you're probably going to laugh, right? So he's 88K. You guys know you need multiple leads, multiple goats for the sets. What I have been doing all day, and what I highly recommend you guys do, is sell your guys' gold. Take a look at all the gold cards that I've been selling. These guys are still up in the auction box, but take a look at all the golds that I have sold. And when I show you this gold card that I sold, you are going to laugh so hard. So you guys saw how that set's going for 88K, right? You need multiple, like over 20 cards, right, for that set? I sold this Drake for 43,000 coins. Somebody bought Kenyon Drake for 43K. So guys, there are some expensive, expensive gold cards you have in your item money you probably don't even realize, and this can play a big part when it comes to my tip for you guys. As you can see, Tim and Coleman, 4,600 coins. Sterling Shepard, 7K. I'm at 1.2 million coins right now. Malcolm Butler sold two of him for 15,000 coins. I sold Jack Conkin for 10.4, Albert Wilson for 9,400, Devontae Parker. For some reason, the Dolphins have extremely expensive golds, and that's going to be a big part of this video as well. Bobby McCain is 7,700 coins. Carlos Dunlap sold him for 11K. And you'll notice a trend with what teams are actually having the most expensive gold players. So that is going to play a big part in this. So obviously when it comes to these Steam Diamond players, there's a couple of things you can do when it comes to working the auction block with these guys. It's not going to be my only tip for you guys as well, but working the auction block is going to be big when it comes to these Steam Motors. As you guys can see, these Steam Diamond players, excuse me, when it comes to certain sets, the, old, the lower overall of these guys obviously means that what? The sets have less elite. So with the Dolphins, right, it's an 85 overall. Take a look at the set. There's only two elite players. You have Kenny Stills, who's 15,000 coins, and you have Laramie Tunsil. Laramie Tunsil is currently going for about 15K. Now, you can just snipe if you want to. Go through all the sets, snipe the elites, and you can probably make a little bit of profit there. But not only that, something I noticed with the trend of these players is that these lower overall guys, because there's not as many elites, they are actually the ones that have the expensive golds. Take a look here at all the gold cards for the Dolphins. Xavier Howard is 8,500 coins. Now, the reason for this is very obvious because there's sets like the Broncos. You have Von Miller, who's 170,000 coins. Now, because the sets have more expensive elites, the golds are going to be cheaper. But when you have no elites or barely any elites or barely high, any high elites, the gold players are going to be the most expensive. You can see here Kenyon Drake sold mine for 45K. He's currently over 22K. That's still extremely expensive. So if you guys are looking to get any team's golds or anything, you want to go with the teams that have the lower overall players. Like, 
If you take a look here at the 89 overall players like the Cowboys, yeah, you might have some expensive ones. Low key, can't show you the Cowboys. I already have all the cards in the set. That's going to be safe for the shopping spree video for tomorrow. Uh, before the Chiefs, right? So the Chiefs, let's take a look at their gold cards. You have Frank Clark here. Frank Clark is currently going for about 4,000 coins. These gold cards are not that expensive. You know why? Because there's Patrick Mahomes in this set. T Sammy Watkins is 2,500 coins. This set is going to be kind of cheaper when it comes to the golds. And I actually have a lot of these gold Chiefs. I might actually want to get this set done because I have a ton of these Chiefs or I just sell a bunch of the golds anyways. And most of these golds are going for like 2,000 coins because the sets have higher expensive elites in them. The same thing when it comes to the Broncos. Again, you guys already know, Von Miller's super expensive. Von Miller right now is 170,000 coins. You take a look at the gold cards in the Broncos sets, they're currently going for like 3,000 coins. They're not really going for a ton of coins because again, it, it, it's, it's basic knowledge here. Higher overall cards in the sets, the lower overalls, or the lower prices that these gold cards are actually going to go for. Joe Flacco, how much is he? 1800 coins now it's very important that you keep in mind this when you're looking through the sets to do so my personal my personal recommendation when you guys are doing these sets the Bengals are also a good one because you can see here yes they're an 87 overall set but they only have three elites they have aj green geno atkins william jackson so these other gold cards are going to be more expensive tyler boyd is 11,000 coins so you might want to go through these sets snipe through, see what cards are most expensive. Tyler Reifert's 12,000 coins right now. And then you can see Carlos Dunlap. You guys saw I sold mine for 11K. He's currently going for 6,000 coins. If you have any golds in your item binder, I recommend you sell them right now. That's literally how I've made like probably 500K today so far. I'm going to continue to make more because I have a bunch of gold cards in my item binder. And you want to sell off the most expensive ones you have. So the Bengals are a very good one for you guys to go ahead and snipe. The Bears are a solid one as well because you see you don't need to have Khalil Mack in these sets. So these gold cards as well are going for a little bit more. You know, about 5,000 coins, 6,000 coins for one. Taylor Gabriel, how much is he? He's got like, what? Yeah, 27K. I figured that one. Another one that I found out earlier today as well was the 49ers. I actually sold a, what was it? I, I sold the Marquise Goodwin for 20K, I think. And Marquise Goodwin, as of right now, is going for 8,000 coins. So he came down a little bit in price. Also, Mike McGlinchey, I think, for 12K. And he's 20, well, he's actually 22K now, so he actually went up in price. So yeah, any teams that don't have a lot of elites in them, you want to focus on them when it comes to sniping these cards. So the best ones I would say to do are probably the Dolphins, uh, the 49ers are a good one, or the Jets a good one to do. The Jets are probably a solid one. Now, I wouldn't say the, great, uh, the greatest one ever. They, they don't have, you know, like 88 overall card, but they do have Le'Veon Bell and Jamal Adams right there. It's like 100,000 coins worth of elites. Any teams you guys can find that don't have expensive elites in the sets, the golds are going to be cheap. Like, Rodney Hudson is in this set for the Raiders. Besides him, Richie is currently going for about 5,000 coins. We also have Trent Brown, which is going for, let's see, about 4,000 coins. You guys get the point. Any sets that are lower overalls probably don't have the highest amount of elites in them. Check them out and try to snack those golds. And you guys can see here, my gold cards are actually selling with a few elites in there as well. But I have one more tip for you guys. Now, this one isn't going to be a guarantee. Okay, this is definitely going to be a risk. But I'm going to show you guys this right now. Because gold players right now are going for so much, I truly believe that getting gold player packs are at their highest value they have ever been at. Because we still have, of course, limited time Eddie Jackson, limited time Christian McCaffrey currently in packs. You can still pull them, but you can get other elite players. And there's gold cards right now going for 15, 20,000 coins, 10,000 coins, 6K, 7K. There's so much profit to be made. I'm going to open up 10 gold player packs here. We're going to see if we can make profit off of these. Now, if we get a gold, as long as it's a good team, we'll still make some decent coins. We get Foreman there for the Texans. I, you need J.J. Watt and J.D. Klein for that set. We get a coin quick sell. 80 overall Cooper Cup. So that's a rarity, okay? That's 18,000 coins. By the way, they now made it to where you can't trade uh, platinum players. So that definitely sucks a little bit. You can't trade over those cards from your uh, side account if you happen to get those coin quick sells. So that, you know, really sucks. Is what it is there with the coin quick sells. But we got Cooper Cup there. That, you know, not everyone's going to get that, so we'll just let that one slide. We'll just count down to these packs. Next gold is going to be a 72 overall Tracy Walker for the Lions. I actually don't know how many elites you need in this set for the Lions. Probably not that many. Next pack, we get a 74 overall Justin Evans. That's a buck. A buck is also a good one because then their highest lead in the set is Mike Evans, I want to say. Uh, Isaiah Oliver, probably not the best pull there because they do have Julio Jones in that set. Next, get a gold. We get another gold player. It's going to be 70 overall Rashard Higgins. Again, probably not the best ones. You're really looking for specific teams here with these get-to-go player packs. We also get 73 overall Devon Kennard. He might go for a little bit. Can we get an elite? I'd like an elite or high, a high gold. 
Britton Colquitt. They might go for something. Probably not too much, though. Next pack, another goal player. It's going to be 76, Alex Smith for the Redskins. I feel like the Redskins are probably more expensive. I sold a Josh Norman earlier for 10 k and we ended off with a Corey Grant. Is he a free agent? That, 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 that's like the crappiest one you possibly get. So then we got a free agent there with Corey Grant. But let's go and see how many coins we just lost or made off this pack. And again, it's not a guarantee. So yes, he unfortunately is a free agent. That one's just an L right off the bat. Alex Smith, though, is currently going for 11,000 coins. So it's a 5,000 coin pack. Alex Smith is 11K. Renton Colquitt, how much is he? He's 4,000 coins. So right there we have 15,000 coins made off just those two, right? Devon Kennard is about 2,000 coins. So he's like one of those mad ones. 17K right there. Richard Higgins, probably not much. About 1,600 coins, about 18K so far. Uh, I guess we'll count Corey Grant as well, just to add him into the total. Probably not much at all. He's 2,500 coins, whatever, 20K. So five packs, 20K, but we did get one that was pretty crap because he's a free agent. Next pack, next five packs. We get a 3K one there, so we got 23,000 coins. We also got Justin Evans. How much is he? He's only 2K, so that one's not good. 25,000 coins there. We also got Tracy Walker, which I don't think these lower over guys really go for too much. 1,800 coins, and we got Foreman as well, which is how much is he? Probably not much. 1,700 coins. So again, like I said, it's not guaranteed profit. Did we make our coins back? Probably, just because we got Cooper Cup in here. But open up five more packs to show you guys again. But you can get lucky in good, good polls like Alex Smith, who's going for 11,000 coins. Obviously, the easiest way to make coins is going to be sniping those sets that have the lower overall elites in the pack and the ones that have the cheapest and the fewest elites in the pack. Here we get an L-Team Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins, that one's not going to be good at all. Second, get a gold player. We get a power up. Kyle Fuller. That's probably like 3,000 coins. You want to see if you want to get golds or elites here. There's not many power-ups going for a ton right now. We also get a 70 overall max, so that pack is not good at all. Fourth, get a gold. We get a veteran, so we got lucky here, and we get ourselves an 85 Brandon Marshall. So yes, we made coins back off this with the elites, and the final pack is going to be a 72 overall. So you guys can see there, yes, we made profit off that, probably just because of the Brandon Marshall pool. Like I said, it's not guaranteed, but I feel like right now, getting gold player packs have the most value they've ever had because now gold players actually have some good value. So with that being said, though, that is my tips on how to make coins in this promo. You might want to dabble into opening up some getting gold player packs, see if you guys can have some better luck than even I did. I did get 85 Brandon Marshall, so he's going for... You know, 49k right now, so that easily paid for that pack of five and also more. But you're not going to get an elite every single time you do five of these packs. You're basically just hoping to get, you know, a high elite or a high gold, like the Dolphins, things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Comment down below as well. What teams do you think are the best to go ahead and snipe through and filter through? What are some snipes that you guys have gotten on some gold players? Do you maybe flip like a Marquise Goodwin, get him for like 3,000 coins? Flint for 20k. Some people honestly just don't look up prices of gold and they put them up in the auction block. So you can really take advantage of that and try to get yourself some flips. With that being said though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys next time.